Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today, oh, today. The Chosen One has arrived. It has arrived. Jack Daniels, Coy Hill, small batch. She's so pretty. And let me just say this. For my friends that know, there's a handful of you out there that know. This was a hell of a journey to get this bottle. Yeah, it was. <laughs> We won't, I won't talk about that. We won't talk about it, but it was a journey. But it was a journey. Yes, it was, for sure. I mean, I, I, I know this is one of these bottles that you're not going to let me pour, so why, why don't you go ahead and pour it a little no. bit? I mean, he's, he's, so, like, he's so generous, but yet so stingy. What? Wouldn't you, though? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Because this is the same guy. This who, is. He's drank three fourths of that he's Shelly Barrel Proof. Uh, that's probably true. Uh, so we've had <laughs> we've we've had a couple of different of last year's Coy Hill. Uh, I think one of them was like one forty. I think the best one that I have had is a one forty point six proof. I have had a bunch of the one forty threes. I've had a one forty four. Yeah. I, I think by far now maybe I'm biased because that's what I'm open right now. But and yes. this is the one. This is one forty seven. This is one forty seven point three. Okay, so there are some. There there's one above one fifty, isn't there? There's a one fifty five. A one fifty. Yeah, there's like a one fifty five. I think there's maybe a couple. So if you all if just going to go ahead and tell you guys right now, if you go back in time a little bit and you all watch our Coy Hill review last year, like. It was a top three bottle for us. It was. And, I, I mean, it's, you kind of think maybe, well, maybe it's Hazmat, maybe it's like a little gimmicky or whatever. No, it was beautiful. It was. It, it was truly amazing. I'm anxious to see if this one drinks like a Hazmat or if it drinks like a I 140. I agree. So, but if you remember in our review, we talked about where there was barrels. I think there were barrels above 160 proof. And they didn't release those because we were like, hey, Go ahead and hook us up, right? Yeah. Well, those crazy people over there at Jack Daniels was like, no, we're just going to do a small batch of it. And so there's a handful of small batches out there. This is only going to be a distillery slash Tennessee release. And so if you're able to get one, it is by the means of Tennessee, which is not always like our favorite state. I love Tennessee. We love Jack Daniels. Love and Chattanooga even, whiskey. <laughs> love it even more than that. Tell me. I do like Bell Mead. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. There's probably Still some Still in the there. comments below which other brands in Tennessee we should like, because it's that's probably a fair point. If you say Dickel, just go ahead and unsubscribe right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. just kidding. I'm kidding. But seriously. Oh, we're so close to 5,000. Uh, that is true. Actually, that's a really good point. If you haven't subscribed, hopefully we're at 5,000 by the time this video drops. Yeah. Because uh, we're recording it the night before. Uh, we're going to drop it, but it'd be so cool. So awesome. Anyways, going back to this bottle. Um, Our next live stream, by the way, there could be some. Anyways, Jack yeah. Daniels. Jack, no, don't make promises you can't keep. Oh, Jack can Daniels keep. has been crushing it, uh, basically with their special releases. They have done amazing with the bottle or with the bonded in the in the uh, triple mash. Jack Daniels overall has probably put out some of the best newer releases over the last couple of years, if I'm being fair to them. And yeah. they they between the rye and the Coy Hill and the heritage and. And all that stuff. Does so, any of the rest of you feel like he's just like making me wait, just just forcing it upon me, just little to sit here and wait while he talks, little gaps bit. on. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. Thank the Lord. Um, the only other thing I want to point out, and I've only seen two other reviews of this. I saw Jason from Master Drum. I saw the H U whiskey, and my first initial reaction when I saw this, I thought the same thing they thought. Holy crap. It's like coffee dark. It's like oil. It's like a super dark. Good amber bot. <sighs> Man, you smell that dark fruit in there? Like that's what That's what really stands out to me. Mm. Man, I'm getting like super rich brown sugar. Some really nice burnt sugar. Mm. I'm getting like the greatest maple syrup of my life is what I'm getting right now. 
<laughs> is this like the Knob Creek <laughs> maple bourbon? <laughs> I am currently right now looking for a new partner to do this channel with, preferably somebody who can do lighting and audio and, and computer. Because no, anybody who's going to compare a Knob Creek maple yeah, to this, yeah. he knows I'm just fired. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so like you would think it would just hit you really hard with like ethanol and just it, it, the fumes coming off. I of feel that. like there's a. I feel like there is like it's not an ethanol. But it, there's a there's a heat to it, but it doesn't yeah, feel ethanol -y at all to me. But it's just like you breathe it in. But the I, I think you're right. I think the like the dark fruits, the sugar, the there's a that well, stuff stands out. To I was it. just gonna say there's a smidge of dark fruit. A smidge I smell of the dark. Fruit. That's what I smell. Like I just smell. It, it's it's like a little buttery too. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. Spicy on the front end. So full you know, full transparency here, right? So one of my friends who helped make sure I got this bottle at hand, I poured him a one ounce sample as a thank you. Yeah. And buddy my buddy Troy, shout out, thank you. Shout out to uh, Troy. my other buddy I'm gonna owe a pour to later. Wasn't able to hook him up yet. And I, whenever I was sitting here, I was like, I don't want to try. I, like my first initial reaction is whenever I get the opportunity to try this here. So this is like the very first time I've had it. Wow. Like it is, it's still going on there. The, there's so much maple in barrel char with that. In the fruit that's on the back end of that, yeah, so nice, yeah, man. And there is some really, really like sweet oak on there too. Yeah, I that's the I, I noticed that in there. Uh, it just warms you, man. Oh, but, but it's not like a Kentucky Huck. No, it's not like a Kentucky no. Huck, which is crazy because I have. I feel like it's more warming. I have like ten bookers over there that are open, and all of them will give you a Kentucky Hug, and they don't touch this fruit. <laughs> Jack Daniels knows how to do a high proof. <laughs> Man, the fruit on that stands out a lot more. It's not as dark. It's a little bit more like a rich fruit, a little bit of raisin on there. Yeah. Bar that barrel char, I really like. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what it is. I couldn't figure out the note. Ooh, right there. This is like a really, okay, so let's say you go to like a really nice like breakfast place, right? Mm -hmm. And you get like a waffle and you get like the fruit on there and a bunch of, and some chocolate, a ton of like really nice rich like syrup and stuff. Maybe like a little bit of like vanilla cream on there. Man, that is what it is. That is what it is all day. And it's so good. And there's fruit still on the back end, which is crazy to me because... There is definitely fruit. That koi, the koi hill that I have, remember how desserty that was? Like it was yeah. chocolate yeah. and bake. It was like it was like a chocolate cake, and it was so awesome. And I didn't have a fruit forward one. And I, I remember seeing other people talk about the fruit that they were getting from their koi hill. I was like, Man, I didn't get any of that. And this there's, on the back yeah, end of it, like a, the apple that pops on there. Yeah, there's a sweetness on the back end you, of that. You've crushed that already. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm trying to soak it in. <laughs> that was good. Oh my gosh. I'm trying, I'm so, trying not to grab that. This is so stupid good, it, guys. It like It is. It's good. It's really good. Oh. I can already tell you that's going to be in, in our... It's going to be in our bottle. End of the year. year competition. For sure. Let's just compare it. Debated if I want to do this or not, but let's just compare it, right? I would say you can compare it to something, but you decide to drink everything. Oh, wait. Listen, what am I, doing? I feel like it was like a, a small, you gave me a small pour. Oh, there's just a night and day difference. 
Oh, wow. That is really different. Wow, that, that is totally night and day different, which is great. Now, these are single barrels, so they're going to be a little different, obviously. Yeah. But, man, that is so different. What's crazy, though, after drinking that, I'm getting a little bit of a rich bubble gum, though. I was, there was a sweetness there that I, was, I couldn't put my finger on. But Never I had that. Yeah. Also getting like a chocolate batter note. Really interesting. Great combo. Now, I will say, after drinking these two, this is amazing. I, I, this is, obviously, if you can get it retail, you get it. Duh. Am I going to tell you to go out and spend the ridiculous price that's going out there right now for the 375 on the secondary? No. I'm not going to say that because that's it's stupid on all sorts of different levels. I don't think I would lose my mind hunting for this if I already had one of these. I mean, this is... I mean, it already has its place in our Yeah, in no, our it, hearts, no it's sure. like, it's so good. Yeah. And I, I think... As great as what this is, if you have one of these and you can literally spend half the price and get twice as much, then it just kind of makes sense. Like I, I'm not, I, I'm not shaming it or saying it's bad by no means, but I mean, I can't in good conscience say go out and spend a ridiculous amount of money on getting this when you can do half and get twice as much. Yeah. But man, these you can get are, your hands on any of it. Oh, you can get your hands on it. That's obvious. My mistake was I should have went after work and got one of these. I worked night shift the night the night that they really see I should have went down because I would have gotten one. Yeah, four hour drive. Yeah, congrats. All, All right, mistakes are made. Like, comment, subscribe. We're all, we're close to five thousand. If we're at five thousand now, we'll do something cool for it. Hopefully, yeah, we will. Cool. Yeah, we will. Uh, super appreciative. Super grateful, guys. Uh, heck of a review to get out for that little 5,000 mark. Yeah, for sure. So, thank you guys very much. This is the good stuff. Uh, it's amazing. Way to go, Jack Daniels. Cheers to you. Crushed it. Yeah. Absolutely. This is so dumb. Yeah. Like, it's so dumb how good it is. Yeah. Well, so, till the next time, we'll see you. See you.